Today we're gonna to be checking out an abandoned house, one of my favorite and your favorite guys, places to explore that is abandoned. They hold sentimental value, you usually learn a bit of the family, and you find similarities with yourself, at least I do, with some of the things you might find, toys, things that you grew up with, these people grew up with too, and we're gonna find some of those inside this house. I know the family left some time in the 1990s, maybe 2001, just turn of the century, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna be going inside, looking at clues. The video will speak for itself. Hopefully you guys do enjoy, and if you do, leave a thumbs up. Now let's go check this place out. This is the back porch. It's completely sinking. Looks like a pretty good house here. Wow, this place is deteriorating pretty rapidly. Got a record player on the ground. And this was actually the record station. Look at all the moths. This house is filled with moths everywhere. They're all getting attracted to my light. But this is the old record station, Alice in Wonderland. Well, this is a record that's, it hasn't been opened. It's still in plastic, but it's all wrecked, water damaged. Got some more records here. Got this old The Fisher professional series stereo. A Child's Introduction to Patriotism. Pledge of Allegiance, Yankee Doodle, Star Spangled Banner, America the Beautiful. You could see this entire set was bought in one. You got the stereo here. These were the speakers, and I guess this was um, a record player. There's even still a record on here. Says the Columbia Records taking Miss Mary to the ball. Wow. I get these records out. Catholic stuff. Religious music. The Ballad of Smokey the Bear. You have so many children's vinyls in here, and none of them are opened. These are all unopened. Probably still in good condition. We just have a few more stacks of these vintage things. Just completely hidden under this piece of ceiling that fell on top of the place. A lot of the records are like ballet records, I've noticed. I'm going through them right now. Oh, the fair. I always find New York World's Fair stuff in houses. 1965, this was the Steel Industries gift to New York. Yes, part of the fun of the world fair is the subway special that takes you there. Your transit authority has 430 spanking new picture window cars for the elevated ride to the world's fair. Express trains start at Times Square and Grand Central and you're safely at the fair in less than 20 minutes. Take it easy. Take the subway. Yes, part of the fun of the world fair is the subway the whole history of it. This is crazy. You have a Statue of Liberty, Liberty Island, New York Harbor. I don't know what this is. Just has a bunch of people just standing around with a little lighthouse in the middle. Huge display on top of this record record dresser. But we're gonna try to get a view just a little bit over here in this living room. I mean, very horrible setup. <laughs> I mean, they were just sitting on metal outside chairs, really. I mean, no television in here. It was like before all that. 
Okay, I'm falling through the floor, slowly. Yeah, it's not too great over here. This tells you the humidity. Rain chance and the temperature. That's a pretty cool thing here in the front of this house. This is actually the front door we're right next to here. Nothing too special. Got this very old, just straight to the point fireplace, just completely brick. And we're gonna try and head into the kitchen. Wow. There's a pretty cool retro kitchen here. Pretty untouched by time. All the colorful dishware still hanging up. Even those mugs still hang on the hooks, just waiting to be used, collecting dust. I have this built-in shelf here. Gotta love the old details of homes, all the curves. You can see some hand-knitted stuff. I just assume a grandma lived here. Okay, got some 7-Up glasses in here. These are cool, look at that. It's like Christmas themed, green and red. Let's see if we could find a year on these. No, nothing. Regular US patent. Looks 1950-ish, they're both different. I thought these were the same glasses. You could see the logo is a little different. Here we got a pink bathroom. Not gonna be stepping into it because it looks like the floors are just made of cardboard. Definitely a very dated kitchen. Maybe 1940s, 1950s era house. We have a sneaky little upstairs. And this caught my attention right away. This like little medical cabinet here, all white. Really nice. You could see it was metal and they painted over white. Looks like something I find at old state hospitals. Definitely beautiful and vintage. I gotta love people that reuse. So inside this cabinet, we actually have some food left behind. I just noticed these nuts, lightly salted. Glass jar, probably expired about 20 years ago. Still got plenty in here. Also some canned stuff down there. I'm not quite sure what that food is. Kind of looks like corn kernels from over here. Could be anything though by now. Look at that Lysol packaging. I haven't seen Lysol ever look like that, at least in my era of living here on planet Earth. But we do have some other cleaning products and stuff up here. Even got a little high chair still next to the kitchen. So they had a baby when this place went abandoned. Still a little baby. Sad, you could just imagine. Whole family sitting here. Baby at the head. One, two, three, four, five, six people total. Still got the dish towel hanging up. This place is pretty untouched. Wow. Check out this old bedroom. Wow. We still even have the nightgowns on the um, little rack here next to the bed space heater 
on the floor. It's possible somebody was living here after the residents left, like squatting in here. But I do like this room. You could see the stone in the walls here. Very cozy, just facing nature. Check out the Wild West wallpaper here. We got some old boots and spurs. Got a pistol holster, a nice big ol' hat. Just western themed here, this old wallpaper. But it looks like it's it for this tiny little room. Kind of stuff everywhere. Definitely maybe a small woman. Look like 90s clothes. Here we have the dresser, but it's just sinking into the floor because of all the water getting into it, just mushing all together. We do got some clothes and stuff left in these shelves. But that's going to do it for this little room here before I fall through the floor. My goal is to find a calendar so we can get an idea of when the last people here left. Usually refrigerators tell you a little bit of that story. So far it's just telling us the owners love cats. Got all sorts of Looney Tune mugs. Got Sylvester. These are all from the Pepsi Company, it says. Collector Series, Warner Brothers, 1973. Wow, these must be collectibles. Yosemite Sam. Let's put them all out here. Yosemite Sam, Tweety Bird. Got Roadrunner, Roadrunner, Roadrunner. Three more Roadrunners. I guess that was their favorite character. I could see why, those are very entertaining. Let me know if you guys like the Looney Tunes. These are some really cool vintage mugs. Pretty untouched glassware for being almost 50 years old if they came out in the 73. Cool stuff, let's put them back where they belong and how, they, how I found them. Got an old bread box here, lemonade pitcher. Cold cookery and recipe digest, this is a pretty cool 1950s, 1940s pamphlet on cooking and refrigerators. Love all the text, the colors, everything just pops out. Not like today, even have Animations, check this out, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Norwich Refrigerator. So the same one we got here. This fridge is a Kenmore. So that must have been their old refrigerator they kept the manual for. People always want to see what's in the refrigerator, so I can't disappoint. Nothing but some old water. Got a miniature timer for cooking. Don't think it's don't think it works anymore. So I don't know anything about this house, but that's kind of the reason we're here, is to just learn and find clues and figure out what happened here. So far it looks like an elderly person probably lived here until the end of their days. So far it's looking like probably was abandoned sometime in the 1990s. Haven't really found any evidence of that yet, but we're gonna be Continuing our search to see more cool things and clues of that nature. Very claustrophobic in here. Oh wow, the floors are horrible. Look at that. I could see right down into the floor beneath us. That's the living room. So we're only gonna 
really only be able to get a view. Oh my goodness, look at that cabinet. That looks like something that was on the Titanic. Look how beautiful that is. Hand painted, hand carved. I know the floors are messed up, but there looks like to be really cool things in here. Look at these cabinets. It's a whole set left in here. All the same style. You even have that old coat, fancy pea coat for a woman hanging up on the closet. Beautiful room. Shame I could see right beneath. You could see how thin the wood is. I mean, it's really just like that thin. And over the years, you could see that there's really nothing here. It looks like there's a little bit of floor, but this carpet is really holding a bunch of this weight still up. Water damage just affected its way into the home. One reason this place may have been abandoned is because a tree perhaps fell on it here, jeopardizing the entire structural integrity of this place. Beautiful old cabinets. Love the green, I just wish they would be saved instead of rotting in here. Even got an old chest left behind. I wish the floor was more stable here, man. I mean, I feel like if I step on the beams here, here, and so forth, I might be good. It's just super sketchy, man. Okay, I'm gonna try to walk across to that, to that doorway there. I mean, I do not recommend this. I'm just gonna be walking on the studs here every um, like two and a half feet. I got a giant stud. If everything is holding up here, Hopefully it could hold me. All right. Whew. I made it. Okay, we got a secondary bedroom here. Looks very small. Definitely a child's room. Looks like we just have a little bathroom here too. Wow, and a tub that is just filled with feces from a plethora of animals, I'm sure. Interesting wallpaper. Cool bathroom, though, it even has the little cups to dispense water for when you're brushing and whatnot. Definitely a beautiful clawfoot tub, though, you can see right down there. I hate seeing these all destroyed because they're so unique, you know? They don't make things like this anymore. But let's see what else is in here. Yeah, definitely a child's room. Look how old that stuffed animal dog looks. That's so vintage looking. Look at this. Drama. Modern American drama. Just completely ripped apart by animals, probably. Making nests or something. Gotta say, craftsmanship on the nightstands and everything in here are pretty top-notch. Got the drawing here. It looks like a fisherman. Actually, no, it's like a Roman knight. You could see the helmet. I'm just saying Roman. Could be anything, though. Got a book in here. Fingal's Quest. Let's put it back. Looks like a cool book, though. Got a little court, little deck here. Really chill room, just completely surrounded by nature. Can't really ask for anything more. 
So I just reached into this bag that was over there in the corner and I pulled out this record player. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse before they, um, you know, redid the appearance on him. I got this Junior Jukebox. Really old stuff. Junior Jukebox, Mount Vernon, New York, Hudson Electrical Corpsman. Definitely vintage, probably 1950s, 60s, based on the, um, the appearance of that mouse. I think it is Mickey Mouse, I can't really tell though. I just found, a, look at this old briefcase, we got all these old clothes stacked up, and then underneath it, we have a beautiful blue briefcase. Let's take it out, see if anything's inside. It's really heavy. It's really heavy. Really, really heavy. Oh. Well, we have a, a dining set, but we have a Macy's bag and a lot of old magazines. Oh, it's People Magazine, okay, from 1981. Yoko Ono. How is she holding up? How is she holding up? I don't know. Jackie Kennedy, wow. A lot of iconic magazines. I could see why they save these huge names. Barbara Walters, Kathy Beck, Bach. Wow. Look at the old cigarette ads. That's how you know it's an old... Uh, Magazine. Pulled out of New York Times from 1978. I mean, if that has been sitting in that corner for 50 odd years, that's crazy. I just opened this up. Just hidden under so much clothes, no one would ever see it. You could see the, the amount of doo-doo on the ground. S. What kind of card is S? S8? B? 2? L? I'm not familiar with these type of cards. Jeez, that is so soft. Let's get an up close view of this cabinet though. Look at that beautiful hand painted stuff here. wish the floors here weren't so bad because I do want to navigate to that side of the of the house but the bed is just blocking the wood I have to walk on to get over there Whew. never gets easy Hold my hands. Seems okay. Okay, I'm here. Whew, barely, but I'm here. Wow. Okay, this might be one of the coolest rooms here. Two bedrooms. Oh, and a crib! Oh, I'm so glad I came over here. What an insane room look at this hat look how cool that is summer jobs 1989 with the rainbow how cool and retro is that snapback here i mean it makes sense this house could have been abandoned that long i mean look at all the spider webs here the cobwebs if you can make them out here in the closet and we still have all the clothes check out this 1970s looking shirt here with the flowers on it wow this stuff is Basically untouched. Look at the cobwebs. Pull out these slippers. Wow. Timeless. I still can't get over this hat here. Children definitely lived here at one point. This bedroom has 
one bed, normal size bed. I mean, I could sleep on this. That looks like a kid's bed. And we have a crib here left behind. I wonder what happened here. You know, a lot of stuff is left behind. Must have been a girl. This is so cool. You have the old stickers of superheroes just on the dresser still. This actually says 1994. So that's actually the more recent date I've seen in this house, other than that hat, which does make sense. Looks like a 1990s house. But let's see if there's anything in this dresser still. Some animals lived in here. You could see some nuts and some cotton from the clothes. Looks like a squirrel or something got in here. We got some cards. Let's close this one. It hasn't been opened in years. I can't even budget. Really amazing house. I mean, something happened here. There's a story here that I can't complete. But what a very creepy home. There's still some baby stuff left behind, like baby powder. This is filled. Oops! I didn't mean to do that, I thought it was closed. Yeah, it still smells like it too. But yeah, there was a baby still here when the place shut down or when the owners left. It's kind of sad. You, know, you gotta think about, there's a grown-up out there that's an adult. And they grew up in this room. Little do they know what has happened to it. You got kids' clothes all over the floor here, just completely discolored from all the water. You got some blankets left behind as well. Really sad sight. Not too much sure what else we'll find over here except this retro light fixture. But that might be it. The switch to turn the lights on in here was a little traffic light. Pretty cool. See the strawberry hand knitted probably by the grandma here or the mother. We got some more knittings here and a pile of them there. I mean these are just becoming so weathered because of time here. It's so so sad. I wish I could see all these things. You know, not destroyed. But this this closet is truthfully amazing. I can't even get in there more, but I'm gonna try to see some more clothes. Oh, look at the denim jacket, or the denim vest. Very small for a child. That's cool, it's nice and retro. Let's try to pull that out. So many bugs are coming out because of this. But this is so cool. You gotta bring back these colors. Look how beautiful they are. They bring you right back in time. This closet's like a hidden department store for old vintage stuff. I mean, look at this, even the nightgown here. Is old. Got all these crescents on there. Try to take a piece out. Here we go. 100% cotton, completely washable. Robbie Brooks. Yeah, you can see the rust has gone through and stained the shirt for sitting in here so long. Just imagine a little kid wearing this. Girl or boy? Looks like a girl. This is one of the coolest dresses here. It looks like something straight out of like um, Rocco's Modern Life. If anybody's seen that cartoon, um, but the the shirt or the dress here, so cool. It says United States of America on it. Awesome retro stuff.
Yeah, so now the uh, picture is kind of being painted. This was the master bedroom, I would assume. The bed would be settled right there between those two nightstands. This is mom and dad's room. Over there through that room, that was the outside deck, and there was a guest room there. And behind me, this was the kids' room. Probably a reading chair right here in this corner. And they had multiple kids. I definitely have seen things for girls and boys while exploring here, so they definitely had them both. We could see a little bit into the master bedroom closet. We have something here. Look at this, an old cigar box. Oh, there's some change in here. I could see it popping out already. Got a nickel here. I'm trying to open it. It's like locked. There's totally change in here though. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, so we found what? Looks like we found like a dollar. <laughs> That's funny. Let's put that back. I was gonna say, so we could see some of uh, the parents' clothes here. I only see women. You got this kind of business. You know, not really business actually, but kind of looked like a pea coat. And we got some more clothes over there, but I do see some ties and other stuff here. Check that out. I love all the vintage clothes here. All the fabrics. A shoe actually fell beneath the closet. I could see right into the living room, so I'm not going to be stepping any closer to that. Really cool house. Woo. Okay, I'm alive. Woo. So I noticed late that right above this fireplace is the children's room. And since the wall is decaying here, we have some of the old child's toys coming down. You can make out what's left of a slinky there on the right. And a child's backpack just stuck in the wall. And, you know, I'm a 90s kid, so I'm familiar with most toys. And I noticed this. Echo singing microphone. I remember commercials for these. Let me know if anybody remembers these. Leaving the same way we came in, the side door here, and I didn't notice until now this huge stack of newspapers, and I think we'll be able to tell pretty quickly when this place was probably left behind, and that says September 1st, 2001. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This place does scream out 90s, and you know, before that in every way crazy how the last newspaper delivered is when Leia died long time ago now also have a trampoline there cooler a baby seat for eating at a kitchen table just a really cool vintage old home here let's go take a look in this backyard used to have a, a shack out there Completely collapsed. We had their own fire pit and barbecue here. Homemade. Just out of bricks and cinder blocks. That's all you really need to build a stove. Let's try not to fall through these stairs. I want to take a look at that chill room we saw. You could see it breaking away from the foundation here. Nice chill room here. Definitely could see myself spending many days and nights even just out here admiring everything except that damn plane above us. Oh, look at this. This keys left behind, skeleton keys. Wow. 
right next to this purse. This this uh this purse is really cool looking. Look at that. Made out of straw. Right next to these other keys here, and this iron. So cool. I love finding skeleton keys. Wow, these probably go to a couple closets or something inside the house. That's really cool to find. Good thing I came out here. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's Explore. Cool home. Side of the road finds are usually some of the coolest you could find out here exploring the wasteland of America, not knowing what's around every corner. This one was pretty cool. Old home, pre-2000s. That's the era of homes I really loved to find before the internet. It was just something different around about the world. You could see it in that house. All the old furniture left behind, the records left behind, the kitchen, the appliances, everything was so vintage. Just very appealing to the eye. And I can't forget the wardrobe upstairs in the closet. Probably my favorite thing about the place. It's just a shame that a lot of the stuff inside this home is destroyed. But nevertheless, I'm super glad and thankful I was able to get inside and explore and navigate safely, you know, before this place fell on itself, basically. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for joining. If you did enjoy, let me know by leaving a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part is. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay curious and peace out.